Hi guys, so Photoshop have just released a new feature built into the camera raw. This is the super resolution mode, but is it any good and is it worth using? Let's find out in this Photoshop tutorial. And I'm gonna start right now. What is up guys, Photo Fever here and welcome back to the channel. So Photoshop have just released a new update. This is 22.3 and it contains a brand new feature built into the camera raw. Again, make sure that's up to date and that will need to be 13.2. Now this is called super resolution mode. And what it does is it uses machine learning and artificial intelligence to basically work out how to increase resolution of your photos. Now this isn't a silver bullet, remember that because this isn't gonna be able to take a really, really small photo and blow it up to an amazing print. It has its limitations, and we're gonna discuss that throughout this tutorial. But do bear in mind, make sure to keep it up to date, and make sure the resolution of your image isn't too low. So, with that out of the way, guys, let's get started. Right, guys, so the first thing you want to do is find an image that you want to work with. Now, you can either use RAW or JPEG, it's completely up to you, but if you go ahead and use JPEG or anything other than a RAW format, you're going to need to change just a few settings inside Photoshop. Because currently, if you go ahead and open up a JPEG photo, it will automatically open up into Photoshop and it will bypass the camera RAW filter. This is because it doesn't need the camera RAW filter to open it unlike RAW files do. So you'll just need to go ahead and change that so it automatically opens up into the camera RAW. And I'll show you how to do that now. So before we go ahead and go ahead and enhance photos, let's go ahead, open up in the Photoshop. And what you want to do is on a Mac, you want to go to Photoshop, drop down to Preferences, and then you want to go to Camera RAW. So at the moment, if we go to General, we drop down to File Handling. And at the bottom here, you've got JPEG, hex and tiff handling. At the moment, you'll probably have yours on automatically open JPEGs with settings. So this means you can use the camera raw filter as a JPEG file, but it won't automatically open it up. That's something you can do within Photoshop. This is what you want to do if you want to enhance a JPEG file. So you want to have automatically open all supported JPEG files in camera raw. So once you've got that selected, we'll go ahead and click OK. What it will do is it won't bypass the camera raw filter. It will directly open it up before it opens up Photoshop, just like you would do if you were shooting a raw photo. So what we can do now is go ahead and click off. So we have got two photos here. We've got photo one, which is the original photo. This is the full resolution photo. And next, we've got this photo, and this is 50% of the original resolution. So it's half the resolution. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna enhance this photo so it's the same resolution as the original and compare to really see how this particular effect works. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click on that and instead of it opening up in Photoshop, it already opens up in Camera Raw. Once you've done that, what you'll need to do is right click on that photo and drop down to Enhance or Shift Command D on your keyboard. What it will do is it will use its software built in, again, this is a fairly new feature, to enhance the original photo that you've got and it will double the resolution. So once that's done, all you'll need to do is just click enhance. Now this may take several minutes, it really depends on what computer you're working with. I'm working with quite a high spec Mac, so it doesn't take that long at all. But do bear in mind, if you're working on a slower computer, this may take just several minutes. So once you've done that, it will open up a new file, as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner. This is the original file. This is your brand new DNG enhanced file. And this is the file that we want to work with. So once you've done that, let's go ahead and click open. Now this file is now two times larger than the original 50% file that we are working with. So this is now the original size of the sample image that we were using. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna close that down and not save that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up this. Now this has got the three types of photos. It's got the original photo, so this is the sample one. Then we've got the enhanced photo, and then we've got the original photo that we reduced down to 50%. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and zoom into the eyes. And as you can see, at 500%, this is quite blurry. So if we do the before, 
This is before it's been um, enhanced. And we do the after. As you can see, there is a slight change in resolution. And I must say, it has done quite a good job. But obviously, if we compare it to the original, you can see that is a lot, lot sharper. So as you can see, it isn't a silver bullet. It isn't going to fix all of the photos that you're going to be working with. But if you're working with an already medium to high resolution photo and you're wanting to make it even larger by two times, this particular software works really, really well. So what I'm gonna do is show you last thing before we go. I'm gonna do the original, this is 50% the size. This is the photo that's been enhanced, and this is the original size. And as you can see, it has done a decent job. And I'm really hoping after Photoshop have used this over a few months, hopefully it gets better and better. And this is something that I'm definitely going to be using because I'm working on sometimes quite small files and making them larger is going to be a godsend, especially when it comes to downloading files from the internet. And there we go, guys. So that is how you can use the super resolution mode built into the Camera Raw filter with its new update from this week. Again, guys, if you want to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, it really does help my channel grow. Also, guys, if you want to hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my latest content. Also, guys, if you want to click on any of the links here to support me, these are my previous videos, and hopefully that will make you a better photographer and video editor. But until next time, guys, keep creating.